Hey, folks. Uh, welcome to Desktop Laser Spot. I uh, appreciate you pulling up the YouTube channel, and I ask if you enjoy the video or if it's helpful to you, hit the subscribe button, and we will definitely appreciate it. Today's video is called Light Burn Quick Start. It's absolutely for beginners. If you're experienced with it, you may want to look at something else. But uh, if you're not, this may get you on the right track. First thing you want to do is go to Lightburn's website and download the free trial. You can use it for 30 days and see if it's going to work out for you. There's no restrictions on it. It's available for PC or Mac, and you can download whichever version of that you need. One thing I did forget to mention is you need to get the G-Code license. That's the one that works with desktop. Uh, $60 one-time purchase fee. After you get everything downloaded, uh, click on your desktop icon, and this is the first screen that will pop up. We're going to set our machine up manually. So the first thing we want to do is come up here and select GRBL. Click Next. We're going to be hooked up with USB, so we want to click on that. Click Next. We can name our machine anything we'd like. Uh, we'll just put laser in here for now. That'll be the name of my machine. Uh, I happen to know that this particular machine dimensions is 1575 by 1575. Uh, you enter whatever size machine you have there. Click Next. We're going to home it to the front left, and I'm going to turn off Auto Home. I don't want it to do that. Click Next. At this point, our machine's pretty much set up. We'll go to the next step. On this screen, uh, first thing we want to do is come up to our machine settings, and the default settings pretty much are just fine. I don't change anything that they have there. And you might want to change it from inches. I use inches all the time, but you can change it to millimeters on this screen, but that would be the only thing I change. From there, I go up to my tools menu. I check everything over to make sure it's set up right, 1575 by 1575. I'm homing the machine to the front. The only other change I would make, I would come down here and I would enable my laser fire button. Click OK, and I'm set up and ready to use Lightburn. If you happen to be using a X2 D1 machine, which is a really popular machine, uh, you'll need to go back to your setup instructions and scroll down the page, and you'll find a download file right there. I've got it circled in red. Download that file that's your configuration file to get you working with Lightburn for the D1 I always put the file on my desktop so I can find it you can put it anywhere you need it but that's the way it's going to look on your desktop you don't need to open it just leave it sitting there for a minute uh, we're going to use it here in just a second uh, the next thing we'll go back we'll open up Lightburn and instead of us doing it manually this time we'll come over here and hit import You'll go over to your desktop and find that file. Double click on it. Come up here and select it. And hit OK. Now at this point, you're set up and ready to go with Lightburn for the D1. Now, since we're using the D1 on this go around, uh, we probably want to go back and revisit our machine settings again. Uh, once again, everything. Up here in this part, the default settings is probably going to be just fine. Uh, the only thing I would change on this page is I would come down here and change this to either millimeters or inches. Uh, like I said before, I always use inches, but you can change it to millimeters uh, to match uh, just about everything. I'm using millimeters now. Hit OK. Uh, go back to our tools menu. Everything's going to be set up for us in this case. Uh, our configuration file did that. Uh, you'll notice we're homing to the 
top left. Make sure that's where that is. If you don't want to use the uh, crosshairs to line things up when you're using the 16 millimeter offset, you can turn that off right here, and now you'll be able to use the laser dot to line everything up with that. That's that's what I would do. That's the way I do it. But uh, if you've gotten used to using it the other way, uh, leave that on. Uh, the only other thing I would do is I would come down here and change my laser fire button again so that it works when, you, when you're lining things up. And we're pretty much set up and ready to go with that. Thanks for watching. I do plan on putting up some additional videos later on Lightburn. If you'll hit the subscribe button like I mentioned earlier, that'll let me know you're interested. And I do appreciate you stopping by.